you don't need backup like follow your fucking dreams hi guys uh i really don't know what this video is even gonna be um i don't know what it's gonna be called at this stage i don't even know what i'm gonna be talking about really but i kind of just wanted to make like a sit down talk video because i haven't done that yet and like that was kind of my intention with my youtube channel in the first place was to sit down and like talk about things that i'm interested in and have like passionate conversations um just more personal parts of me and i feel like i haven't done that so far just because I've just been like mucking around kind of just trying to be fun and like you know have a good vibe so that I don't just pop up out of nowhere and be like yo guys let's talk about some deep shit like no one even knows me I really don't know where to start this or li like what even to say um like I said I really want to share like deeper parts of me um I do believe that everybody in this world has a purpose and everybody has something that they were put here to do, to share with other people. And ever since I was young, like literally since I was like, I don't know, just old enough to think consciously, I guess, I've always known that I had like a purpose, you know? I knew right from the jump that I was put here to do something a lot bigger than you know those around me and stuff at the time so for anybody that has followed me for like a long time would know that I am pretty spiritual I used to not so much now but I used to post so many things about spirituality and like um just like life kind of things um and I stopped doing that over recent years um, for like a few different reasons. First of all, I felt like I didn't have the right audience to share those things with because it was really personal, like deep, close to my heart kind of stuff. And I didn't feel like I had the right audience to listen and care that was interested. Do you know what I mean? Because when I first started like posting on instagram like a few years ago or like whatever it was always like beauty stuff like i thought i wanted to be a freaking makeup youtuber and anyone that knows me now knows that that's sort of like the last thing i would ever want to do now i'm just really not about like that i mean i wear makeup but i'm not to me i think it would be a superficial thing because i feel like i have deeper more intricate things that i am put here to share with everybody that's what i wanted to do for like a little bit it's what everybody else wanted me to do as well i feel like the tiny freaking tiny little audience that i did have like just the people that do like see my stuff it was all built off of this whole like beauty thing it wasn't authentic to who i am and like nobody really knew like what i actually was like as a person do you know what i mean also, I really apologize if this video is like all over the place because I really don't know like the context of this video. I kind of just want to sit down and like just talk about my feelings and my thoughts and like the shit that goes on in my head and just kind of just be like real and raw and authentic and upfront. And I don't want to edit this very much and shit because I just want this to be very personal, you know? <sighs> So yeah, I just didn't feel like the people that were seeing my stuff were like interested in the things that I had to say. And at one point I was literally this close to like deleting all of my social media and just starting over with like five followers because I'm the kind of person I would rather literally have like 10 people hear what I'm saying and value it than like hundreds of people hear what I'm saying and not give a fuck do you know what I mean I literally I contradict myself because half of me wants to like share all this stuff with so many people and like I feel like that's my mission that's my purpose in life I'm here to like share things and be this like freaking inspiration to people and then part of me is like 
I literally just want five people to just value really deeply what I'm saying and like I'm such a passionate person I just want like a few people to like hear me and fuck with it and like really want to like be a part of it and understand it because I feel like it's more genuine do you know what I mean so I don't really know what I'm getting at yeah I just want to kind of get personal and stuff with people that do give a fuck because I think that it's important and I think that our generation and all of that is just so caught up on like just this like bad bitch like mentality and like uh I don't know just like superficial shallow kind of like shit you know and I feel like slowly the more I spend time on Instagram the more I spend time on YouTube and social media and stuff I feel like I'm just freaking falling into that little trap and it feels so wrong to me because that's so not who I am I was just sitting there and I'm like you know what this lockdown thing is I think a perfect opportunity for everybody really to sit there and think about like who the fuck am I what do I want who do I want to be? What is my purpose here? And what am I sharing with people? And I think everybody has something to give. Everybody in this planet has something to give. And I just think it's a good time now to kind of reflect and be like, what have my choices lately led me to? And am I being the person I want to be? Am I taking a step every single day towards everything that I aspire to be and aspire to become and all of that? Um, if I'm honest, like, the last few months of my life have kind of disconnected me with, like, this higher consciousness that I have always had, and I hate it. Like, I, I just think that, I just, I was like, you know, fucking what, I was gonna film, like, a little painting video, and then I was like, actually, no, I'm gonna do what feels right in my heart, and even if, like, fucking two people fuck with this and, like, understand it and resonate with it and it helps anybody or it just gives anybody like some kind of insight on who I am then that's all that I want you just felt like when you get an impulse of like the universe or whatever telling you to like do something I think you should fucking do it go for it because it's obviously what you're meant to do so anyway like I said I just want to talk about life paths so as I've repeated like a hundred times I do think that everybody has a purpose and since I was a very very young girl I have always been very observant of my surroundings I just feel like I grew up really quick like you could probably ask many of my friends that have known me from a really young age my sister my mom my dad like everyone's always said that I grew up really quick I, even at high school I never really felt like I could fit in with friend groups and stuff like that I feel like I outgrew everybody so quick because I just don't like to bitch about people I don't like conflict I just feel like I grew out of that stage very very young and I was ready to just get shit done like literally last year everyone was out like you know being young and fun and doing all of their fun like teenage things and that's fucking great like I something they've done in life and I never really did that it was literally last year and it was like like you know everything just kind of fell into place for me and I was like I don't want to around anymore I want to start my business I want to do everything that makes me happy I want to focus on my dreams focus on my goals I want to be this great person I want to reach my full potential like now I'm ready I don't want to around just get shit done and that's kind of been my mindset ever since. I left school. I don't even think I got level one. Like, I don't have any NCAA. And I know some people are probably sitting there like, what the fuck, you need that? Like, what if your dreams don't work out? What if you need to go freaking get a degree or a qualification? And honestly, all I can say to those people is, because I'm never going to need that. Stick to your dreams. It can happen. You don't need backup, like, Follow your fucking dreams. And I'm literally saying this to anybody out there that's sitting there like, oh, I really want to be like a freaking dancer or a sports player or own like this business and that business. But maybe I'll just waste like a few years of my life studying something that I don't give a fuck about just so I have a qualification just in case I can't follow my dream. And like this is just a miserable life backup 
choice that I have. Like, I don't want anybody to think like that because anything's possible. Like, when you have frequency and a vibration and blah, 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 you stick to it and you think and you feel these, like, things, you're gonna manifest whatever you want. Like, it's just inevitable and it's not really even in your control. Like, it's just a law of the universe and it will fucking happen. Like, just follow your dreams. Don't give a shit about what teachers say, adults say, your friends say. Like, be you and be you authentically. That will align yourself with, like, a higher consciousness and you will like nothing will get in your way your circumstances will change your freaking experience will start to change and things will just flow and that's exactly what happened for me like i just stopped giving a shit about what my dean at school was always saying to me just anybody else that was like ah oh, like is that gonna work you know i even had like a couple of friends that were pretty like you know they doubted what i was doing and they're like oh maybe just study this just in case follow your dream don't need a backup plan if you stick to what you want every single day and you have like a deep love and passion for it it will not fail or flop like it will happen i've just always been that kind of person like you know sometimes i speak to people and they're like oh well i mean i would love to go traveling one day i, I would love to like have a really big wedding one day like that would be my dream but i just know that in 10 years i'm not going to be able to afford it and i'm not going to be able to do this and do that and and I just think like we're so trained to have this mindset of like it's impossible to have these things that we want and I just really hate it I feel like again it's one of my purposes in this life of mine as this person as Brooklyn is to come here with this frequency that I have and just push people like you can have whatever wedding you want you can have whatever life you want like you're a creator so spirituality and stuff has always been very important to me and i don't mean spirituality like religion or anything like that i mean that kind of just in general like taking control of my energy and being very conscious and aware of my surroundings being very aware of other people being very being very aware of myself um it's always played a huge role in the person that I am and it's always been a very important aspect of my mindset and of my life. I literally remember in like year 9, year 10 and year 11, every single day I would come home from school basically and I would just sit there, I would paint, I would draw, I would journal. I used to study um, Buddhism. To me, Buddhism wasn't like I was worshipping a god or anything like... I just enjoyed learning about like the principles and the dharmas and stuff like that and like the the little noble truths and like just these life things because to me it was just another aspect of knowledge that I was going to be able to take with me through my life. Just the way of living and treating other people and being compassionate and I would definitely say that meditating every single day and like having my kundalini awakening and stuff it's just really helped me to this day to just think with an open mind and like a really broad perspective on stuff. I would meditate every day for hours at a time. Like I have literally had the most up experiences while meditating. Like I've just seen like the most amazing shit. I've literally felt like my body just, I don't know. I probably sound crazy, but I've had the most insane experiences and awakenings through meditation it is a really huge part of me maybe i could get into it in another video if you guys are interested but yeah i've just had like the most life-changing experiences and i think that that is why i've never been interested in like relying on any kind of short-term fix or like a drug or anything like that to kind of like expand my knowledge on things because my whole life I've just known that you can reach this most beautiful like perspective and mindset and like this whole different like world you know and it just feels like amazing I really don't even know where I'm getting at I just wanted to plant the seed and I want to just kind of encourage people to kind of open their mind and think like through this little like lockdown period where we can't do shit. I want people to spend that time 
just being like genuinely happy and kind of connecting with themselves more because we're so distracted constantly by like your partner and you know your family and like your job your friends i'm not saying distracted in a bad way because that's very normal and i often get distracted like all the time but sometimes i think we don't stop and realize like you should be paying the most attention to yourself more than anybody else you know like have time to yourself even if it's just a moment it doesn't have to be like long periods of time just a moment to like like closing your eyes and just inhaling and just being like present in the moment and just thinking like who am i what am i going to do today that's contributing to being this person that i dream of being conscious being more aware being more compassionate and just focusing on your energy so much more after like a lot of years of just like learning about it i've been so much more conscious of like when i get into a bad situation i am very aware of my persistent thoughts and feelings and like what direction i'm pointing my energy to and if it's helping my situation or making it worse and yeah i just think that doing that in situations is going to just change the whole vibration and align yourself with so many different experiences just i don't know i don't even know what the, i don't even know if i upload this because it's so all over the place but i just want people to i just want people to know me better it's really something that i want to spend more time talking about and sharing and i just yeah like that's half of the reason why i started woke was because i had a passion and it was just an outlet to express it i don't know it's just another thing that i really want to do it was like the intention with my youtube channel was to share more of myself but yeah like i said if you're one of the five people that gives a fuck thank you and appreciate you and i really need ideas for youtube videos so if you have any hit me up because i really appreciate it but yeah I don't really know what I'm gonna call this video. I don't really know what it's really about. Just, I don't know. Share me a little bit more, you know? Share things about myself and just, uh, this was more so for my own self. Like, I just think that I don't wanna like disconnect from who I am anymore. I just wanna be me. And that's the most important thing me see you guys in another video